I remember when he first started playing tackle football. And my dad went to his first game. And around this time, his older brother JJ had already been playing for a few years. So we was used to him scoring three and four touchdowns a game. So later that night, my dad called me. And he said, man, that boy scored six touchdowns today. I remember saying, wow, JJ had a big game. And my dad said, no, I'm not talking about JJ. I'm talking about shit. side and Johnson follows him down the sideline look out he could go to the 30 and he's gonna score wow Rashawn Johnson and right now uh, what he does every single week that he with with the football with the target on his back Shea is so impressive well the Silsby Tigers had eight returning defensive starters and they probably needed like 15 because <laughs> Rashawn Johnson uh, and that Silsby defense is good they're a good defense but he is he's special as you guys are saying and, and man he, he turned it on the show tonight my name is Roshan Johnson, and I'm a monster. I started my football journey, I would say, around seven years old. Um, really, that's when I, when I first started playing tackle football. You know how they watch their brothers play on the field, and as soon as the football comes off the field, the little kids all run over and try to grab the football. Just watching my brothers, uh, being the youngest in the family, Coming up, you know, watching them play tackle football. Uh, when, I, when I had my flag days, you know, I really admire just putting on the pads. And first memories I have of Shug following my footsteps was when he first started playing little league, playing running back, and he just went out and scored like four or five touchdowns. And from there, he was at that's what he averaged like 28 points a game, just scoring. So he started just kind of playing on the sidelines with the other kids. That's how it all began. I decided to play quarterback. Um, when I, I say when I was 10 years old, uh, that was my first year of playing quarterback. Because previously, when I was about uh, seven or eight years old, I played running back, and uh, I made the switch to quarterback. And just being in control, um, having the ball in my hands almost at every every snap, I really felt like I could make the biggest impact for my team. I first realized. He was going to be really good when he first started playing quarterback and just seeing how dedicated he was to practice and just throwing the football every single day. My dad instilled in me, you know, if you're going to do something to be the best at it. I realized that Roshan was special in football when the coaches would play him all positions on the field. Not missing a day, getting me out there to work with him and just seeing his work ethic, like he was just, he was just what he wanted to do. He wanted to be the best at it. Parents that would take pictures on the sideline told me one time, he said, when I'm taking a picture of your son, I notice how advanced he is because my lens, through my lens on in my camera, I can see his eyes scanning the entire field. I was eight years old, I really noticed, noticed that I could really be great at the game of football if I just really put my mind to it. And that's where it all started. Running back position, youth football, Port Nature's Ridgewood, going to the third grade, almost five foot, run about a 5.6, beasting. Sure, games are lit to say the least. The way the Port Nature's Grows community support the team is the definition of Texas high school football. It's Friday night lights, baby. And my family enjoys every minute of it. Let's get it started. 
Watching him perform on that stage gives you a chance to see him in his true element. He's a singer now, so he's bigger, stronger, making all the throws, making spectacular plays look effortless. The extra point is good, but a minute 45 to go in the third quarter. The way his games bring the whole family together is priceless. And the most impressive part about any of it is him after the game. He's a great kid, and people gravitate to him. And this is the first time I got to see him play. I've seen film on him all year. Uh, great quarterback, uh, had a great uh, eye for the field. Uh, I think he's going to do great at uh, UT. Thank you. Even the opposing players. My grandmother would really be proud. Segment quarterback Rashawn Johnson is getting all the shine. This is Johnson bulldozing his way into the end zone for his fifth rushing touchdown of that game. He also rushed for a total of 258 yards that Ooh. night. Did I mention he's a quarterback? Oh. Okay. Where do five rushing touchdowns for a QB land on the beach? So, who y'all think will have the best college career out of all these upcoming young kids? <sighs> Roshan Johnson, <laughs> yeah. bro, no. No. this no. man right here <laughs> is filthy. Yeah. He's from Texas. Dirt. He's a dual threat. But the crazy thing is, he only runs when he needs to. Like, he already understands that part of the game. He's not looking to just scramble and use his athleticism. He had 10 touchdowns in one game in high school. He's going to Texas. They're going to love him. Yeah. Texas grown, coming to University of Texas. You can do things similar to Vince Young, but you are honestly better than Vince Young. My off-season training schedule uh, consisted of early mornings. Uh, Monday through Thursday, I wake up 5 in the morning on the sled. Uh, after about an hour and a half of the straight condition, I go home, rest, get ready. I had summer school, so I had to knock my credits out the way so I can graduate early. After summer school, it's, a, it's another workout. Conditioning with my team for two hours. After that, it's throwing uh, during the evening. So it's a lot of work. Just straight um, scheduling uh, the work that I put in. It started real early and uh, just pretty much carried carried out week in and week out. Just scheduling what I do and when I do it throughout the summer. I'd like to congratulate Rashawn and his parents on such an amazing accomplishment. Rashawn, congratulations on achieving your dream of becoming an Under Armour All-American. We look forward to seeing you play in the game and everything you will accomplish in the it's future. It's not a whole lot of free time being a, a student athlete. He wakes up real early in the morning. He'll go to the field at least three times a day if necessary. I mean, I can't go to the same parties or the same uh, get-togethers as some of my friends, so it's really cutting out some of the free time so I can get what I need to do done. And um, that's really the main main sacrifice I would say. He will not miss a day, it don't matter what's going on. He gonna make a time to, to get out there on the field and make sure he get his work in and get his throws in and just get better every day. My competitive drive, I would have to say, it comes from my dad. Um, he really instilled in me as a, as a father figure, just as that male influence on me. He really instilled in me to dominate in whatever I do, whether that's on the field or in the classroom. If you're gonna pursue something, you gotta dominate. I've learned through him the value of knowing what you want to do with your life at an early age. Here's a kid that at seven years old edited his life and worked day in and day out to be in the position that he's in. Yeah. But how's it feel to get that jersey today and to be honored in front of this entire school? Uh, it feels great. Uh, it's uh, really a dream coming true. When hard work and consistency meets God-given talent, you become special. Add competitive drive to that, and you become a monster. Start a record label, Miss Fish just did it. Whoa.
Nylon, couple five minutes. Whoa, we are too hot in the business. Woo, about to make a movie independent. Woo, need new trucks independent. Woo, I need you to listen to the vision. Woo, all your verses sound like dirty dishes. I'm about to clean them in the kitchen. Woo, and we making money by the minute. Woo, I'm about to do a way different. I am just an icon living. I am just an icon living. Living. I, I, icon living. I am just an icon living. Living. I am just an I, I, icon living. I am not a Mayan, I'm a menace. menace. It's wild, you can lie like a professor. I don't got the time to put you on a stretcher. Stretcher. I am here and I still flesh. Flesh. I am just an icon living. Start a record label, Miss Fish just did it. Whoa, I'm high star, cover five minutes. Whoa, we are so hot in the business. Whoa. Last verse was before the award show. What? Icon tatted on my torso. Huh? Me and Moy dipping in the porso. What? I ain't even taking on torso. What? Uh, damn. Last girl signed a divorce, so what? Now I'm focused and we about to all blow up. We just trying to make the whole crowd go nuts. What? Look, we don't know no one like you. Huh? Go grills and you dance like Michael. What? No eyes, misfits, no typos. Yeah. Look, wait. We just wanna make you go psycho. Put a hundred thousand dollars in the Bible. Ooh. I took the game with my eyes closed. Last verse was before the award show. What? Icon tatted on my torso. Huh? Me and Moy dipping in the porso. What? I ain't even taking on torso. What? Your shit is fire. I'm more so. What? Young Jaden dying on the floor. So what? She broke my heart to the core. So what? I guess we all gotta grow up. I'm just an icon living. Saw the record label Miss Fish just did it. Whoa. Interview cover five minutes. Whoa. We are too hot in the business. Whoa. I'm going straight to the top of the crow. We should just chill and maybe take it slow. Before we get up there with nowhere to go. And we can chill and just look at the view. Woo! Damn. Load a yellow rose into a rifle. Ooh. Me and Harry about to go psycho. Psycho. Put a hundred thousand in the Bible. Bible. Damn. Wait. Go teeth dance like Michael. Michael. Man, this on like a light bulb. Light bulb. Over all the cutty in a tight go. Damn. About to make a movie independent. Woo. Need new trucks independent. Woo. I need you to listen to the vision. Woo. All your verses sound like dirty dishes. I'm about to clean them in the kitchen. And we making money by the minute. I'm about to do a way different. I am just an icon living. I am just an icon living. I I I can't live it. I am just an icon living. I am just an I I I can't. I am just an icon living. I am just an I I I can't. It's a night that eight young men will never forget. The Willie Ray Smith Senior Awards Ceremony has been labeled the Heisman Trophy Presentation of Southeast Texas. Tonight I went to my first Willie Ray Smith banquet and it was certainly moving. We'll start with the best offensive player in the area. Finalists, of course, included Elijah Hines from Port Arthur Memorial, Devon Simmons from Nederland, Darwin Barlow from Newton, and Rashawn Johnson from Port Arthur, Port Natchez Grove, excuse me. Would that guy, Brandon Faircloth, be a happy man when he walked out tonight? He's always happy, but he's definitely proud of junior quarterback Rashawn Johnson as he was announced as the Offensive Player of the Year. Lots of speculation, thinking that he was going to be the man taking home the award, but now we got to see if he can win it two years in a row. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know how it would go, but uh, once they were about to, once once she got the envelope, that's when like it kind of hit me like, oh god, what's about to happen? I mean, I, I remember being up here with my brother uh, back when I was in middle school, and just uh, seeing how prestigious this is. I mean, it's a blessing to be up here. I stay grounded. Uh, Basically, within my faith, uh, like I said, my dad he really instilled a lot in me. So, uh, I mean, I'm a, I'm a devoted Christian. So, uh, me just being a, a devoted Christian, it really teaches me to stay humble. Uh, no matter what what I have, the accolades, all of that, it can be taken away in a matter of seconds. So, um, I mean, I, I just take it with a grain of salt. I me, mean, I try to keep a level head. Whatever I do, and I, I don't know, it all comes from the man above. So. American Awards at his time here at PNG. Uh, we're very excited for him in the next chapter of his life. Uh, Rashawn will be signing today with the University of Texas. I try to 
chose to come out of Texas and Oklahoma because of the culture that's there right now. Um, you can see it in the program, Coach Herman and his staff, the way that they're uh, bringing up the guys together, just the way that they're corralling the team together. I mean, you look at the, the team now and the, the wins that they've had, I mean, I feel like that goes to show for the culture that Coach Herman has brought there. And I feel like I'd be a fool not to be a part of that. The ultimate goal for me when it's all said and done is to just have an influence on people. Uh, I mean, coming out from Port Arthur, Texas, so it's not a whole lot of, you know, successful, I wouldn't say unsuccessful people, but it's a, it's a lot of negative that you can come from from that. And I feel like if I can influence somebody else and set an example for them, that anything is possible if you dedicate yourself and work hard at it. I feel like I've uh, achieved what I've set out to do. And uh, I think that's my main thing, just to impact the younger kids around me and just to be a positive role model. My nephew was born with a gift. And it's because of that gift that he is who he is on the football field. And that gift is the ability to turn his desires into reality. He has the focus and the discipline to condition himself to achieve whatever he desires. And once he learns how to apply this gift to everything that he does in life, he has the potential to be something bigger than anybody can ever expect. And in that moment, he will realize that he's not lucky to have football. Football is lucky to have him. And then they go on and follow them in college. And you know, you hear Dion and you see Coach Moves have a play. Rashawn Johnson with plenty of space, a burst of speed to the team. It's so difficult to contend with Rashawn Johnson, Craig. His legs, he's so explosive. You see a little sneaky strength and power there in contact with Zippy today. Johnson right now has had his way with this defense.